They praying on our downfall another time again After the rain for the sun gonna shine again That's right. Don't bust no U-turns cause we ain't forgetting shit And to all y'all that switch Suck my dick! Let's go. Yeah, 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 suck my dick What? What? You talking down the family name, man, you wildin' What? I dare one of you niggas scream out no diddy Fuck that nigga Bro, blow with me Baddies, they ready to go with me I just nod and they know to go get them Might see me with some pretty hoes with me But ain't no hoe with me I just lay back and that Virgil made back That shit like 450 Police raid the crib like they think we selling crack we But we that. out here selling tracks Multi-million dollar plaques Rather put this shit on wax All that gossip shit is whack When all they had was 50 cent Who put this city on the map? Stop lying Pops been hated on by many the streets are talking, and it's all about 50 Cent coming for Christian Combs 50, just put Christian on blast, say he just like his daddy Diddy, and he didn't hold back Chell 50 went in on Christian mocking him for being a manam of his pops, it's the latest celebrity feud that's got everyone buzzing 50 Cent is numb for his savage social media game, and he just took aim at Christian Combs, he's calling out Christian for following in Diddy's footsteps a little too closely, if you know what I mean 50 is spilling all the tea, and it's piping hot. But this ain't just petty drama, there could be real consequences for Christian's career and his relationship with his dad. Is 50 Cent about to stir up some big trouble for the comms family? Stay tuned because this story is just getting started and it's already got us poked. Did you hear that Christian Combs song, nah, Pick a Side? Yes, I did. What'd you think? Uh, I think your homie said I got a man up regardless, this is my dad. This is, this is legacy that you, you cast is messing with. And why not? It's the perfect time. It's almost like somebody like, when you sit back and you look at these niggas talking about beef, you want to beef? This is the time you want to get something off your chest. Because y'all going through something. They're going through something. They probably, in a space they ain't even ever been in since he been on. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I, I salute him. Did, did he snap? I mean, the delivery was kind of lackluster. He's just rapping too calm and cool. You know, it's just how he do, that's his thing. And I, I'm not mad at it, but I just think in the rap battle, you gotta be saying some real amazing, prolific shit to rap that calm and for a month like, oh, you snapped. And I don't know if he rapped as such to yield. People say, oh, he snapped. Then of course, 50 came right back talking shit, so. Yeah, I mean, I salute Lil Christian um, and I salute him from the standpoint, like, whether that's your father, that's your brother. I know that father. Yeah, nah, like, he did what he was supposed to do. Um, and, and like I said, I'm surprised it took this long for him to jump out in any way. Or, you know, like, this is my family. This is my father y'all talking about. You know, I... That's a man's son. I expect if anybody gonna come to my back, come to back for me, it better be you, son. I truly understand, and like you, I salute Lil Christian for putting that track out. I understand the motivation. Yeah. I'd have did the same thing if you was coming at my pops. I understand why Justin was on that track. Yeah, that's my pops you talking about. Yeah. But I'm sure them boys let Puff hear that track before it was released. Do you think it was a mistake that that track ever got released in the first place? This is this song? Yes. T taking up for his dad? Yes. A mistake? No, no, no. Maybe you're not. A, maybe let me articulate my question different. Do you think Puff should allow that track to go out because now his children 
are directly in the line of fire. They already in the line of fire. What do you mean? They already directly in the line of fire. I mean, at the end of the day, shit, they, they out here, people talking. People talking. At the end of the day, hey, like I said, everybody else around here got beefs and doing all this. If nothing else, say something, speak up. Now you know 50 Cent and Didi go way back they've had their share of beast and collabs over the years years. It's been a roller coaster ride with those two, but let's talk about Christian comes for a minute he's Diddy's son, and he's been trying to make a name for himself in the music game, Christian's been putting out tracks, and performing just like his pops, some folks say, he's got the same swag, and hustle as Diddy, but 50 I send ain't impressed, he's been watching Christian's moves, and he's got something to say about it 50's never been one to bite his tongue, and he's ready to put Christian on blast. Show me where your heart at, ain't nobody gonna mess with you, show me where your heart at. And of course, you saw 50 came right back and trolled. Which you knew he would. Well, it worked. But that's the reason that I'm asking. And, and here's the deal. 50 trolled, but he kind of laughed it off. You know? He didn't go, he didn't he go too trolling. hard. Well, it was still he trolling. Did. Laughing it he off did. or not. I could, I could threaten the shit out your life and laugh it off. Shut up. <laughs> Man, son, man, I'll shoot the shit out you, boy. I'll leave ass stinking, man. <laughs> I'm scared, son. Nah, bro, I'm just talking shit. I'm just a little scared, son. But I meant what I said. Like, I mean, his, you know, he laughed it off, but you, we both know. 50 can be with the shit till any moment. Any moment. Well, again, you know, um, I, I think the thing, kids. If you got niggas around him who gonna be with the shits. I remember uh, I was just the, I was just at the Lovers and Friends uh, joint two years ago. Was it two years ago? Last year? Maybe last year? Yeah, um, last year, I think. Whenever it was, yeah. Maybe even before that. Last year. Whenever. And you know when. <laughs> You know when uh, your boy Uncle Murder does the year in rapper. Yep. I mean, you, you know, you got a certain level of nuts and moxie to just talk about a lot of people at one time. Cause you can you can like fester up a lot of energy. Yep. Hit, like heat on you. And it's funny as they had this me one time. And I guess it was in the year in rap up and I was like, damn, that shit was crazy. But uh, it's funny, that shit was crazy. He said that shit. So when I saw him, guess what he said to me? He walked right up, so I see 50. 50 like, so I, what up, this nigga? Uncle Murray walk up like, Jock, you not mad at me. You mad at me? You not mad at me. We good, right? We good, you not mad at me. <laughs> I'm like, hell, we good. He like, all right, cool. So it was like, I'm addressing beef head on. Like that was the demeanor, like, yo, uh, so he got cats around him who think in a certain way, they were whatever. Like, I definitely could see 50. So why is 50 coming for Christian like this? Well, some people think it might be because Christian is getting a little too close to 50's territory. Christian's been rubbing shoulders with some of the same folks 50 I runs with, and you know how protective 50 can be about his circle others think 50 might be trying to get under Diddy skin by going after his son 50 and Diddy have had their differences, and this could be 50's way of taking a jab at his old rival. Doing something to really upset King Combs. I just, I just think 50, 50 is a master at being 50. I don't, I don't, you know, he's a master at being 50. But but I I don't think I mean I, I don't I don't see him going that King Combs like that I don't no I don't either but it don't take for somebody to keep playing and after a while I say I right, know y'all we gonna chill because he can strike a chord he say the right thing he can strike a chord he was trying to still keep him like respectful in the sense kind of and put the rap to it. But the wrong information come out of something be said, and some like the man mom come up in some, you know, how they are done made accusations of, you know, Diddy, K, 
Kim. You know, there's a lot of strong allegations out here. All it takes is somebody to say the right thing and just, and, 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 and Kim Cohn might fuck around and say something to push somebody buttons. You just never know. He's still a grown man. He out here living his life. He popping bottles. He fucking. He getting money. He moving how he want. He's a grown man still. And all it takes, again, is why to piss him off and he level up one and send one of them one of them lines that touch somebody's feelings in an inappropriate way. Don't think it can't happen. You know, kids can hurt your feelings worse than your peers. A child tell you the truth. And I'm not saying King Combs is a child, but that's kind of why you feel like did uh 51 do that to him. So I don't have to say it, you're saying it. Oh, you're not gonna do that to him, he's a baby, man. You know, King Combs, he's King Combs. He's Diddy's son, he's a baby, he's a kid. No, he's a grown man. I mean, you probably don't smash more badder chicks than me and you together. You know what I'm saying? He's a grown man. So don't think that if it if it gets to a level of of aggression and there's a sense of urgency that to be addressing shit, don't think 50 won't have to like man up and be like, all right, look. Like, look, this shit was all cute and shit when your daddy was, you know, <laughs> when your daddy was around this motherfucker looking at him trying that shit over with another little nigga. I, I do something to you, take that shit down. I can see 50 telling me that. Not saying the 50 would, I'm just saying I can see that. Let me call 50 right quick, let me see. Him. Yeah, okay. You want me to call him? Yeah, go ahead and call him. Hey, Curtis. What? <laughs> yeah, man, it's y'all, what's up, boy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm down here doing Vlad TV right now and shit. Oh, no, I ain't talking to Vlad. Vlad don't, Vlad don't really interview me. Sean Perez do. Oh, no, 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 we ain't. Say what? Okay. Okay, I'll tell him. All right, cool. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. He said, keep your name out your mouth. I should have put Simple it on speakerphone, that. but I ain't know if you want to talk to him or not. <laughs> Either way, 50 Cent is on the warpath and Christian Combs is in his sights. The streets are watching to see how this all plays out. Will Christian clap back at 50? Will Diddy step in to defend his son? One thing's for sure this drama is just heating up. And we're here for it, but you won't believe how 50 Cent actually put Christian on blast the way he did it has everyone. Yeah, you gotta give her respect for that, man. But what you think about the disc record that King Cones came out with, where he was coming at 50 and coming at everybody, coming at his dad? Like, how you feel about that record? Well, first, I wanna say to this young man, before somebody take his head off, cause see, that's that new, that's that new school bulls crap that these kids out here, they easy to fly off their mouth with that. You don't invite a man to your private. You don't invite a man to your private unless you doing the ditty. If two men lay down, how many homos get up? Let me tell you, young man, two of them. You understand? So don't invite a man to your private because that man will see you and take your head off especially somebody like 50. You don't sin or let a boy do a man's job. I don't know if he need that type of attention or he want that type of attention. Evidently he do. But 50 is the wrong dude that you want to do that type of attention, get that kind of attention from, bro. In the infamous words of Waka Flocka, that nigga go hard in the paint. And I don't believe that this cat would even put out some trash like that and really didn't know what he was doing. He's teasing the federal government. And I told y'all, the Southern District of New York do not play. So King Kong just put another battery in their back 
And you see, after he did that shit, something get leaked to the press. Do you notice that, right? As soon as he did some, that dumb shit, talking about, well, we did this and we did that. We had this over here. Y'all went to the wrong house. Some went to, he said, well, we gonna show you how wrong we are. Yo, CN CNN, run this. Action, roll them. Don't play with the feds, bro. Cause you gotta realize this. They got a lot of time. All they gotta do it. All they got is time. Yo, they gonna sit there. People sitting up there. And they want something. See, people like a fix. They they need that fix real quick. They wanna. They want them to hurry up and charge Diddy with something, or or. Uh, see what they got on him. The feds gonna take their time. May take six months, may take a year, may take two years. They got up to three years to bring their case up. They got three years. So they checking everything about them. They gonna dot all the I's and cross all the T's. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people feel like he played a part in that video coming up. You know, him making a comment saying that, you know, they forgot to raid the house next door that his dad owned. Yeah, man, he was walling out. <laughs> yeah, I think he was just bullshitting. I don't believe he bought the house next door. Because let me just tell you something. If anything or any name that had to do with bad boy, the federal government gonna run that. They know all the properties did he have. You won't believe how 50 Cent put Christian comms on blast, he took to Instagram his favorite place to stir up drama, and let it all out 50 I posted a side-by-side -side photo of Christian and Diddy with a caption that had everyone's jaws dropping he wrote, Christian comes, is just a mini-me of his daddy, same style, same swagger, same everything, but does he have the same skills, though the shade was real 50, wasn't holding back at all he even threw in that little questioning emoji, like he was really duding Christian's talent, the comment section blew up faster than a scandal on Pence fans, were divided with some defending Christian and others, living for 50s, Savage GI, even some subs, got in on the action, Tay dropped a few laughing images, while Meek Mill wrote Dan 50 at playing, but the real Tay is how Christian reacted at first, he stayed quiet probably trying to figure out his next move, but then he clapped back with a post of his own showing off his drip, and captioning it I'm my unman period who shot fire. They wasn't even talking about the raid that they did in New York, but they did a raid in New York too. Yeah, I ain't hear about that raid. I only heard about the, you know, the LA and Miami raid. But you feel like the feds, they released that video over King Kong's comments. My oh, man, I've worked in law enforcement for 27 years, and I had the opportunity to see Haida. It's a place, whereas they have the state, the feds, the NYPD, the Department of Cor Corrections, and the state police. Yo, this place could be half of a basketball court. That's where they just got lines of computers with officers of all different people and officers just on the internet. Whoever's over that case, whoever's working that case, don't you know they saw that and took it to their boss? You might think it's petty, but it's not. You do not agitate a lion with a pork chop. And that's what that kid did, bro. Some people feel like, you know, Diddy, he played a part in that video coming out too. You know, him being spotted with Stevie J, smiling at the camera. You know, a lot of people blame him too. But bro, what did I tell you? He's such a narcissist that he has to be in the public. He had, yo, listen to me. They just caught him on TMZ today or yesterday or something like that walking out and about. Now, I'm not telling the man what to do, whatever, what he couldn't do. I don't know if the government told he couldn't travel nowhere, he couldn't be nowhere and stuff like that. But why are you gonna go outside your own compound where you know TMZ, 
and every other place is waiting on you. You're not going to get any public sympathy. That's why he had that picture of him and his father around his neck. You're not going to get no sympathy. You're done. Stick a fork in it. Call it a quit. Apologize to Big's mother for putting this your, your son in that position that he loses his life. It's crazy. He better do a Russell Simmons. Yeah, a lot of people saying that, man. They saying that he gonna pull a Russell Simmons. Well, anything's possible, bro, but, uh, but I don't know if the feds will allow him since they got an open investigation on him. On the other hand, hasn't said a Pete, he's probably trying to stay out of the drama. But you know he's got his son's back no matter what the streets are watching to see if he'll break his silence and come for 50. Meanwhile, 50 is sitting back and sipping his tea loving every minute of the chaos. He's paused he even posted a follow-up saying, I'm just speaking facts the audacity, this whole situation has got everyone talking will Christian proof 50 wrong and show that he's more than just Diddy's mini-me, will 50 and Diddy reignite their old beef, the possibilities are endless, and the drama is just getting started. In mogul superstar actor, philanthropist 50 Cent gives his thoughts and reactions to P. Diddy, he also sells Netflix his documentary, the Diddy documentary, for millions of dollars and gets his reactions on that. Now, as we all know, 50 Cent has been spearheading the whole No Diddy campaign for a long, long time. He said ever since back in the day, Diddy made a pass on him, tried to take him shopping, tried to have him all in his business, take him out and stuff like that. And it was just a whole weird vibe. And ever since then, 50 Cent has been saying that P. Diddy has been suspect and he's been doing some funny duddy stuff. Well, since 2023, the end of 2023, things have been coming out about P. Diddy and 2024 this past weekend in May they dropped this video on P Diddy where he is snuffing Cassie he's kicking her he's dragging her and things are not looking good for Sean Puffy Combs they gave him the key to the city in New York they're talking about taking that away and like I said 50 Cent has this whole Diddy no Diddy documentary that he has sold to Netflix for millions of dollars well 50 Cent goes to his Instagram and gives this reaction he says he says TMZ used this fat boy picture of me because their doctor went to Tubi lol it's okay guys we're all making good television mine just happens to be the best netflix wins the bidding war but if the victims keep coming out i'm gonna need more episodes 50 cent also continues to say okay tmz put up a 2024 picture baby let's work now all of these are comments from 50 cent on this whole Diddy situation, everyone is going at Diddy's head and then he gave this fake apology that nobody's really feeling. The only reason he apologizes is because he got caught. If that video never came out, remember, he was the same guy talking about attention, attention. I didn't do any of this. I'm innocent. All these folks are all making these allegations that everything is false, blah, 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 blah. Then to come out with your apology after the video services. Nah, that was a fake ass apology. And Diddy, you need your ass whooped just like you did her. Nation, what do you think about 50 comments on selling his Diddy documentary to Netflix for millions of dollars. What do you think about this whole Diddy Cassie situation? Do you think P Diddy is going to be able to recover? Nation, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button on your way. But the real question is how will this affect Christian's career in the long run? Will this be the moment that makes or breaks and buckle up? Because things are about to get even messier. Days after a damning surveillance video showed Diddy abusing his ex, a documentary is closer to becoming a reality. Now let's bring in TMC's Michael Babcock. Good morning to you, Michael. Good morning, guys. How are you? Oh, we're doing all right. So tell us what's going on with this. We understand rapper 50 Cent has been shopping this around. Yeah, and you know what? I think a lot of people thought that 50 was just trolling, and if anyone follows 50 on Twitter or Instagram, you know, he's no stranger to that. He, he definitely, you know, engages in trolling and, and makes a lot of jokes. So when he had, uh, you know, repeatedly taken shot after shot after shot at Diddy and then said, hey, I'm working on a documentary, I think a lot of people thought that he was just joking around. It turns out he's not. So this is actually a, a real project that's being made under his uh, G-Unit movie and TV studio, and he's made a bunch of really successful projects uh, uh, under that banner they were uh, actually selling it around to different uh, streaming you know, uh, organizations including Netflix Netflix ultimately had the most money 
place the winning bid. And at some point here in the future, we don't know exactly when, but this is actually going to be something that airs on Netflix. So many people may not know. I mean, the two of them have, have had beef for decades. 50 Cent has kept his foot yeah. on Diddy's neck for decades. I, I, absolutely. Uh, it, you know, it's like they 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 you know, once worked together a long time ago they're not friends now they, they don't like each other and, and yeah 50 has taken every shot especially when diddy has been down did he really you know is not in a position right now to fire back at 50 cent so yeah he's he's taking a lot of abuse and i don't know that anyone feels sorry for p diddy right now to be no, honest well, i don't think so either and it's certainly not going to end anytime soon the follow-up from 50 cent savage instagram post about christian comms is far from over the streets are buzzing with speculation about what this could mean for Christian budding career in Diddy's empire. Um, Orlando Brown said uh, Diddy's not going to jail. He said, I can understand why he would say that. Yeah, can you break that down a little bit more? Why you think he said well, that? Well, considering that the is selling his own God evidence that would put him in jail against him on the dark net to the highest bidder, why, 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 why would he sell evidence of his debauchery and um, savagery? Why would he sell on the dark net his tapes uh, of all the just terrible? Wanna know why? Because he doesn't intend to stand trial. Is, it, is, is, is he protecting people or are people protecting him? Oh no, he's selling it because he needs the cash. The last freak off tape that just got sold on the dark net, which I know because I monitor, went for 500 million. It had multiple stars in it. Nicki Minaj, Rihanna, Chris Brown, Justin Bieber. Drake. It was a really interesting night in Calabasas, and he just sold that footage. How come you think it doesn't get leaked to the public? The dark net? Yeah, like... Because of the dark coin. Most people don't even know that the dark coin exists. But that's how they're trading for all of the flesh they sell. Which is why I, I became so outraged last year when the girls, when the twins turned 16 and he had them dressed like prostitutes and then he auctioned them off as NFTs because the NFT that he sold them to was attached to that dark fucking coin. It was like a promissory note to sell his daughters to the highest bidder. You, you see movies like um, Hostel. Mm. Is, yeah. Do places like that really exist? Absolutely. Is... <laughs> Absolutely. Do the things that go on in places like that exist? Absolutely. Shit. It's funny because- we, we, we... There are three women I know right now in my life. They've been in my life for six years. I've been caring for them for three years. Christian finally broke his silence, posting a cryptic message on his Instagram story, I'm focused on my music and my journey, no time for negativity, but that only added fuel to the fire fans are wondering if there's more to the story than meets the eye. Is Christian hiding something or is he just trying to take the high road? I got them off of Epstein Island. I cannot say where they are in the world. What I can say is, when they got into the boat, they were roughed. Mm. Wow. No. Wanna know how they ended up on Epstein Island? Please. They auditioned to be models for music videos. Oh, casting couch. When they got to Miami, they had to show and turn over their ID and they collected their passports. 
and then they drug them. And then the next thing you know, they were in a storage container getting fucked by a bunch of weird strangers on camera who were bidding for all of the terrible things that were happening to them live online. Wow. After they made it through that, that's when they were sent to Rick Ross's music videos, shoots, um, as groupies and extras to make sure that they could walk around in society without looking like victims. And then after that, that's when they were shipped off to Epstein Island to be broken in and to be readied for um, Dubai and Moscow. When they got into the boat and I looked at them, they didn't have to tell me shit. And neither one of them, none of them, they, they didn't speak for weeks. But when you spend time with strangers and they finally feel safe enough to go to sleep and then they start talking in their sleep and you hear the shit that they yell. You know, it's crazy because as you sit here and we talk about hostile and or, you These know, three girls that I'm telling you about were in videos that are being played on online today. And they appeared in those videos after they had already been sodomized, systematically beaten, starved. But they were smiling in those videos, though. Meanwhile, Diddy is playing it cool as always he hasn't said a word about the drama, but you know he's got to be fuming behind the scenes, Diddy's always been fally protective of his family, and he won't let anyone disrespect his son like that. But will he clap back at 50 directly, or will he let his money do the talking? Yeah, it's crazy because, you know, you sit here and, you know, we, we got your story before where you actually said you've seen what a saw does to human flesh, like having yeah. a saw. I mean, we got Terrence Gangsta in the building too as well, and he literally said he's seen the same thing, what he's seen the saw, what it does to human flesh. And I'm like, I don't know what it does to a person's mind or psyche when they see that in person. It changes you. Like. It changes you. There is a place inside of me where I have the ability to either see a human body as a human being or just pieces. Now, Jack, you, you said Justin Bieber, and I have to ask you because he just has, he, there's a picture circulating online where they show He's Justin. He's the new Tevin Campbell. Yeah, they show him crying. He's the new Tevin Campbell. You're almost giving him a gateway to speak his truth of what happened to I wish Tevin Campbell would speak to him or for him. Because the same thing that they did to him, they're doing to Bieber right now. And I have evidence. Mm. That poor kid. And all because he got discovered by Usher. And then I should took him right over there to the dead left. And let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. So let me ask you this, because you did the domino effect with Rook, and you said something in which you mentioned that you've seen the devil. You've seen him. From your experiences, have you seen him enact his ways within a human being where you've seen a devil in a person come out? Absolutely. And I've seen him in real time. Mm. What? When you're the being raped, if you're brave enough 
to look into your rapist's eyes, I promise you, you'll see nothing. Nothing. There is no human there. It's almost like they're in a trance. The real question on everyone's mind is how this beef will affect Christian's career, he's still a newcomer in the game, and getting caught up in drama with a heavyweight like 050C could be make or break for him. Some folks think this could actually help Christian career career, giving him more exposure and street cred, but other there's worry that being seen as Did's mini-me could hold him back in the long run. Even in that moment, there is a space where they lost their self. They don't even remember. Mm. It's possession of the flesh. To watch a person give up utter control of themselves and allow that energy to come in. I stared at a man raping me, choking me. And I saw nothing. And that's when I knew this isn't a person anymore. Which is why the idea of picking that knife up and slitting his fucking throat didn't bother me at all. I wasn't a person anymore. There wasn't a person in there. You wanna know what's really fucked up? Sure. Can you imagine if every artist that's ever been goddamn violated decided to settle their own score? How many dead bodies would we be claiming? So that, that takes me to uh, when you speak on Aaliyah. People really was honed in when you spoke on Dame Dash, Aaliyah. And um, you're speaking on something where you're saying, I wish that situation would be investigated further. No, to be investigated, period. Period. It was never investigated. Hype was never questioned. Lenny Kravitz made a statement and it was never publicized. She was unconscious. She didn't choose to get on that plane. There were phone calls made. There are witnesses who signed NDAs. Why would you need to sign a non-disclosure agreement? As for a 50 I and Diddy's relationship, it's no secret that these two have a complicated history. They've gone from friends to enemies to frenemies more times than we can count. But this latest incident could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. If Diddy feels like 50 crossed the line by coming for his son, all bets are off. We could be looking at an a lot war between two of the biggest names in hip hop. The stakes are high and the tea is piping hot while Christian rise above the drama and prove he's more than than just Diddy's son. Will 50 and Diddy's beef explode into an a war only time will tell, but one thing's for sure the streets will be watching every move. About a plane crash and what happened leading up to it. Please someone yeah. answer that. Do, do you feel like the night Why the fuck would you need to sign? A nigga don't ask about a plane crash if it was accidental. Yeah. Do, do you feel Riddle like- Riddle me that. Riddle me that. Work with me here in this moment. And I'm gonna ask you. A plane crash should be accidental. Should be. Why would any testimony about what happened leading up to it need to be 
covered under a non-disclosure agreement if there wasn't foul play. Now, mind you, September 11th happened a week later. 9-11 happened a week later. Do you think that took away from it? Once again, once again, there are people who did short sales on their stocks right after that, made a lot of fucking money, including Sean Carter. Now I'm going to ask you, why would non-disclosure agreements need to be signed for an accident? Hey. There were over 25 non-disclosure agreements cashed out and recorded regarding the death of that beautiful girl and every other human being that died on that plane with her. What the fuck? Oh. What oh. would you need a nigga don't ask for that? And Diddy, her height, Williams, the balls. Belly was a money pit. Without question. Yeah. And Jay Z got ten free videos out. And I did work for free. Ugh. You, the drama between 50 Cent and Christian Combs, just keeps getting juicier by the minute we've broken down all the tea from Fifth's shady Instagram post to Christian's cryptic response and the potty potential fell out for Diddy's empire. But the real question is what do we all think about this mess? Is 50 Cent just speaking facts, or did he take it too far by coming for Diddy's son? Whose side are you on in this beefs? Sound off in the comments and let us know your thoughts. Do you think Christian will prove the haters wrong and make a name for himself in the game or will this drama hold him back in the long run? And what about 50 and Diddy's relationship? Could this be the final straw that breaks the camels back the streets are watching and waiting to see how this all plays out? But before you go make sure you check out our video on how Cassie fired shots at Diddy and exposed the tea on how he allegedly took out 5 SS that's a story you don't want to miss. Stay tuned for more juicy gossip and celebrity drama. We've got you covered.